Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. This is part number 13. Yes, 13 indeed. And yep, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Nothing else we said. Today we're battling Chuck in the Seamwood Gym and doing some basically some more stuff like that. Not much else going on. I've actually trained up. Um, I, I didn't know. I was, gonna I was thinking about training to level 35. Then I thought, okay, maybe level 36 for uh, Infinite. But then I went straight to level 40 because I thought, you know, we just lost two Pokemon last episode. So I thought, okay better than training over, especially in this next gym battle, three of the Pokemon are actually weak, so Glovey is weak, uh, the Star is weak, it's actually a Dark type in this hack, and so is Ezio, because that's also a Dark type, so we're really relying on the first three, and maybe the other three just to dive in right at the end, um, next slash takes neutral, so it's Swags on, so it's Funga, so, um, level 40 for everyone, uh, I gave, uh, next slash got a le leftover still, same four attacks still, Funga, I gave a choice band um, because Bullet Seed works pretty well with it, I think, and it also gets technicians powering the moves up because that's only power 25. So I should really have kept, um, you know, a, a weaker move than Sky Uppercut, but it doesn't really matter too much, especially with a choice band. Um, allows us to get some hits off. So, and then also have Swagzor, which has obviously evolved to an infinite now, so that's pretty awesome. Has a wide lens. I went back to the Goldenrod City and just bought some coins in the game corner and bought a wide lens. And that, the reason for that is Blaze Kick because. That needs uh, accuracy 90 to 100, so I don't want to be missing any attacks here. It doesn't really affect the others at all, but I think for this battle it's better. Uh, and it also means I can get rid of Blaze Kick, Flame Wheel, Flame Wheel for Blaze Kick in a second if I do something like that. I don't know. Uh, Glovey, no, I taught Glovey Ice Punch actually. I uh, also taught it Thief, because I went back also to near a Golden Rod. Taught Glovey Thief, and then just used Thief on Wild Love Disc. I can get with a Fishing Rod, with the gold, Good Rod, which I also picked up in Olivine City. So I just got some uh, heart scales just to get some moves taught, like for example Ice Punch there, and uh, I don't know if we've got any more. Uh, the Star Nose, Night Stash, Quick Attack, Thunder Fang, and Spark. We could get rid of Spark for something else we'd have to see. Uh, and then uh, Ezio, I actually accidentally taught it um, when I was, it was like it leveled up and it was going to learn Taunt, and I accidentally overwrote Dragon Dance for Taunt, which isn't any use to us at all. Um, and because in this game, unlike in X and Y, it doesn't remember what moves you've had, like egg moves and stuff. Unfortunately, I couldn't reteach it via a heart scale, so I taught it um, a Rock Tomb instead, and it knows the other four still. So Rock Tomb might be helpful at some point, we don't know. As I said, I won't be using the bottom three too much today because I'm mainly focusing on top three, but yep, I'm gonna just gonna head up to the place where we you we can uh, reteach moves for a second and see if we can get anything good there for Infinite. Because that's actually a place up here. I don't know if it's this if this is the place in the actual game. But you can actually talk to this person over here. Um yep, and he will teach you. Yes and K. Yes indeed, I mean. Swagsaw, is there anything good I can teach it? I'm not sure. Fire punch, no we got Blaze Kick. Scratch layer ember, taunt mark punch. Fury swipes faint. Uh, punishment. And that's it. I think I'm going to teach it Mark Punch because we can always use that. It's got uh, Thunder Punch, you see here. No, not Thunder Punch, it's got Close Combat, which is uh, but obviously Close Combat's only good if you're going to like, dive in and get a one hit co, really. Uh, Flame Wheel 60 and 100, that is 85 and 90, so definitely better to use that. So we'll just quickly, yes, get rid of Flame Wheel and just speed for that. Okay. And I don't know if I've got any more. Yes, I have another one. Uh, we can see if... Um, not next slash. Maybe Funga can learn anything else. Thunder Punch. It can learn Thunder Punch. Okay. Absorb, Tackle, Stun Spore, Mega Drain, Mark Punch. Okay, we should teach it a, a, like a lower move because Technician actually boosts it up. So, Force Palm there is 60, but Mark Punch is 40. I'm not sure if that is then... Make, technician makes it stronger. I think it probably does. I'm not sure. So, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to reteach it. Mark Punch over Sky Uppercut because I yeah I forgot I didn't know it had Technician until just now when I looked so indeed uh, Sky Uppercut we'll get rid of Sky Uppercut and put Mark Punch there we also got a Leech Seed if you want to use it at some point yes indeed okay and we shall then okay I think that's my last Heart Scale anyway so let's get on with it I'm gonna start off with Sizor because I think it's gonna do the best I'm not sure so we'll just have to see what Chuck decides to start off with hope we do don't lose any Pokemon here um, need to go back up to the top don't I to turn that thing off and needs to go on to this side or yeah this side boom haha -ha. turn this thing off again which I did last episode but we need to do it again there we are and the water miraculously stops pouring down we don't know where the water goes because surely the water's still coming down and just gets stuck at the bottom there so surely it's just overflow and the whole gym should just flood but no apparently it doesn't do that so who knows okay let's battle him go oomph the pounding waterfall right onto my head ah 
Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you now, I'm a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. I don't know why, <laughs> it's the first time I actually like, properly read the text and speech and stuff. I don't know why I quite did it, but oh well. Leader Chuck is battling us. Primeape, okay. Level 34, so we're, you know, we're good, a good level above. Let's go straight for a wing attack here, because that's what we really need. Substitute, okay, that's interesting. We should be able to just take it out in one though, because we have a super effective move. We didn't get stabbed from it, but it's still... Oh, no, it didn't take it out. Oh, it did, it did, okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. And we'll just finish him off now. He's going to use Thunder Punch, okay. Didn't know quite why he's faster than us, because we are a size horse. Guys, the size are pretty fast, aren't they? Oh, it says Skies or then. Ooh, people are going to be raging in the comments. And there goes Prime 8. Prime 8 is a pretty bulky fighting type, actually. What's coming out next? Probably Infinite. If he's got one, I don't know if, don't know if he has an Infinite or not, so. Uh, Hitmonchan. Okay, I'm going to switch out to Swagsaw for this. Just because I don't want to keep Next Slash in, because Next Slash could be helpful for whatever Pokemon is his strongest. So, I don't know what it might be. It might be Hitmon Top. I'm not sure what it is, though. Level 34, we can go for a... I think we can go for Blaze Kick here. We get Stab. Accuracy is now 100, so there's no chance of us missing. Um, and it's gone. Okay, critical hit. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We're actually... No, we don't have Choice Band anymore, so we can use whatever we want here, which is a good thing. He's got Polyrath, so obviously I might want to switch out to Funga for this, because then we can use Bullet Seed and hopefully take it out in one with that Technician, uh, technician Bullet Seed. Um, we just have to see, shan't we? Assume he's got no... Oh, Polarath is his, is his um, strongest Pokemon. Okay, interesting. Let's go straight for the Bullet Seed then. We are faster. Let's see how much damage this is doing. Ooh. Okay, that thing is dead. Critical hit. Wow. <laughs> Even without the critical hit, we were still taken out if we hit it, you know, two or three more times. One, yeah, one or two more times. So, <laughs> damn, Funky, you're a beast. Hitmon Lee's coming out. I think I'm going to go out to Swagsor again. Um, I don't know quite why. I just feel like it. Okie dokie, yeah, I, I, I was surprised when I was training, um, training Funga up, because it was, it was like Wild Wing Girls and Wild Mantikes, um, and they were, you know, I was using Bullet Seed and they were like dying in two hits, I was like, wow, that's actually pretty strong for, uh, you know, a uh, old grass type move, especially Bullet Seed, but I didn't realise it had Technician until now, so, oh, so close, high jump kick, hopefully we can survive that. Hopefully, yeah, good. Let's use a Mark Punch to finish off, but he's going to use a Hyper Potion nonetheless. Let's see how much damage the Mark Punch does. Boom. Okay, we we'll just finish off with the Blaze Kick then. See, now, if I didn't have the Wide Lens on Swagsaw, the Blaze Kick might have missed then and he would have taken me out. So, you know, that's why I put the Wide Lens on. Because it's a Blaze Kick is a fairly risky move to use. So, Hariyama is coming out. Okay, I think I'm going to send out Next Slash again. Uh, just because I feel feel like it's the best choice. I mean, the only moves Harami usually carries are fighting type and normal type moves, from what I remember. So it's not like it's going to have anything strong, like a fire type move, like flamethrower or some crazy like that. Fake out, uh, yeah, fake out as you'd imagine. Not going to do much damage at all. Six damage, okay. So this battle is going actually better than I expected it to, because obviously we can only use half of our team, but. The members of my team that I can use are performing pretty well. It's a good thing we leveled up this high, actually. If I was still level 35, I would have been demolished here early. Demolished. That hit on Lee would have taken out Swagsaw with the uh, high jump kick. And next Slash would be about down to about half health now, probably. So, yeah, it's a very good, very good thing I did level up to level 40. So, yeah. Okay, so that's Harry Am I gone. Just one left now. I have no idea. It's probably hit on top, would be my guess. Just have to see, won't we? Once we've got the leftovers restored. So now Next Slash has got full health points again, which is just awesome. Uh, I know it's Breloom, okay. <laughs> May as well stand. I was going to switch out to Bloom myself. I was thinking, okay, if it's him on top, I could probably get to Breloom and take it out with that. But since he's just got a Breloom, this thing's going down in one hit. So four times effectiveness, indeed. There we are. Okay, so that was a good game, Chuck. It uh, wasn't too hard to actually defeat, actually. Uh, I guess it's just due to our high level up, so... As I said, if we hadn't leveled up, we got absolutely demolished here, so... Good thing I did. Hmm, I lost. How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. Matt received the Storm Badge from Chuck. Chuck, I did a narrator's voice, like, overview. Matt received the Storm... Okay, so. The Storm Badge lets your Pokémon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. 
obtain the TM01, etc. Which is Focus Punch. Yeah, that is Focus Punch. It doesn't land if the foe you're attacking hits you first, but it's very powerful if it manages to hit. Indeed, we did actually fall victim to that with Lyra and her Marrow and double team spamming, which is annoying as fuck, but oh well. Anyway, okay, so we can now. Okay, she's going to talk to us ourselves, herself. Now, the thing I actually did is um, I went to the move deleter who's in the same house as the move tutor or the move re relearner there. And uh, actually, uh, what do you want, Lyra? Fuck off. Okay. Uh, yeah, I actually untaught cr uh, the Crawdorn Surf and taught it ha Crap Hammer again because I know, you know, it's not Surf is very helpful for it. So I'm just going to grab Sveal, our Sveal out here and use that to Surf back. So rather than having to put it on there, because we didn't just Surf too often to be honest. So just quickly put him there and we can just easily Surf back. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, today is or today slash yesterday or you know, the, the 12th is my one year channel anniversary. I've got a special video on that, guys. It went up before this one, so please go and check that out if you do. I just sort of say what's what's to come in the next year. Uh, no, they're still here, are they? Yep. Um, yeah. What's to come in the next year? What series I have planned? Stuff like that. Really important video for my channel, really, because you know we're a whole year in. Um, we got you know another year to go, and I want this next year to be more amazing than the first one. So, yeah. Oh, we haven't taught it surf yet, have we? Whoops. But yeah, I think one of the main things I pointed out was um, like interaction with supporting me and interacting on videos, because I see you know my um, my let's play seems to get yeah pretty you know pretty hot because um obviously as the uh, question of the day which majority of people answer so thank you for that guys obviously the more people that answer the question of the day the more helpful it is for me because well one I like reading your responses if it's a certain like like yesterday's was the legendary Pokemon one so I want that was interesting to see who who was who in the Johto region people like most so I always find it interesting to read the uh, question of the day especially if it's like uh, it's, you know, New Year's resolutions or something, something along those lines I always find it really interesting to read so um, that's one thing but you know it always just helps, helps it's worth showing support even if you can't watch the whole Let's Play episode if you just pop on and then like the video and then hit that uh, or comment, you know, hit the like button and then comment with a question of day answer and then that's all I really want you know that would be enough for me I think we can get in the battle frontier now no not quite yet we have to beat the first the, the person next shit what are we doing I uh, have to go back, don't I? To get the. Uh... I did see some Fiona's when I was training. They're on this route if you surf on them. So I guess if you take one to her, she'll give you a Manatee or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Um... Yes, where was I? But yeah, if you can just like, like the video. Um, I'm going to start doing question of days on other videos as well, not just the. Oh, God, it's taking ages. Not just the. Let's play videos like on my wife of battles and stuff. I do question of the day. And obviously, those will be more related to wife of battling, competitive battling, etc. So, hopefully, you guys can answer those as well. And I, I pretty much do it on every single video, just in the comments. It won't necessarily be on the video, but it will be in the comments if it's not on the video. So, just check the comments. And my comments should always be at the top because of the new way it's done with top comments. So, you should always be able to see it fairly easily. Damn, there are so many Pokemon on the route today. <laughs> okay, so we need to go to the pharmacy to get the medicine thing. I don't know what it's called. Medicine thing. Hello. <laughs> the lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. Yes. The secret potion. Ooh, very interesting. Yeah, we've got a nice glitch on screen now at the moment, but we'll be fine. There we are. See? Okay, I may as well use a repel on the way back. I don't know why I didn't want to use one on the way down. But, yeah. I'm just strange like that. Uh, super repel. Let's use one of those. Should really cover us all the way down there, so. Surfing, indeed. Ah, takes so long to switch from arrow keys to um, mouse back to arrow keys and stuff like that, it's really annoying. Okay, so back up here and we can go straight to, I'm just going to use this here, because it's easier. Power's effect wore off, there's no battle here because we just have to go see Jasmine to give us, to give her the secret potion, but then obviously we have to battle her I think is the next thing to do, so obviously you know leveling up to level 40 is going to help with that as well because it means we have to sort of level up between those sort of gyms, I guess, since they're you know, right next to Street Trevor. Okay. Hello, Jasmine. How are you doing today? I have the secret potion for your Ampharos. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Indeed it will. Matt handed the secret potion to Jasmine. And... It feels better. So there's the sparkly light and stuff. Oh my god, it's a shiny Ampharos! No, joking, it's not. It's just a Ampharos with light. 
There we are. I lit up lighthouse finally. You will return to the gym. Why you go down the freaking ladder when there's an elevator here? Strange woman. Strange woman indeed. Okay, I guess we have to go straight to the gym and then battle her now, so. Who's going to be good in this one? We have a fighting type. Obviously, that's going to be a good firefight. Then also we have a, a grass fighting type, which is again going to be good. Because we can use the fighting type there. A bug steel type. might not, It's not going to be necessarily good, but it's got dark type moves, so should be fine there. Obviously, oh, I was... Oh, we finally opened Safari Zone. We have to go back down to a... Uh... Okay, now we can go back down to Safari Zone and actually do that route first. So we don't actually have to battle Jasmine first. We can go down there now. Awesome. Now, I did see uh, in the comments section that someone, after the Lyra thing, uh, when I was asking you guys what I should do, one person said that's something you have to get used to in the game, like all the random events popping you up. Obviously, we had u scenes sort of thing. Uh, and also, they mentioned the Safari Zone, so I'm guessing we battle Lyra again there, so... That's going to be very interesting. <laughs> very interesting in freaking deed. In freaking deed indeedy. So let's go over to the safari zone, I guess, once we've switched our friend feel out, I guess. I think there is one section we need to surf on on this route, but it's only an extra bit, so it's not necessarily to get to the safari zone. So let's quickly, we can obviously catch another Pokemon on this route too, to hatch whenever. So I'll just put that one down there. Exit the box and switch off and such. Okay. Awesome. Let's see what we can do here. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we can go through this cave now, finally. What the... What the... What What? 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 Okay, so is, is this what they meant by Safari Zone? I don't know. <laughs> or is this just a normal battle that's usually there? See, I haven't played a hot gun so for ages, so I don't know. Okay, we'll pay with our live or whatever. Let's just use... Let's go for a steel wing. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> that was easy. X scissor. Yes, definitely want to learn that. Because that's 1800. This is just 1600. So, definitely getting that. Uh, oh, swags. Oh, we haven't even healed up since the battle, have we? Mark punch. You're dead. Cacturn. I don't want to go out to swags, you see, because it's, uh, it's low health. So. Ice punch. Oh, yeah. you dead, bro. This isn't over, kid. I guess there's more Team Rocket along this route. Which is it's actually awesome, you know, another Team Rocket takeover of the Safari Zone. I, I think that was on the read uh, the Poker Gear. I just didn't read the message. I sort of like, sped through the Poker Gear stuff after we, we just, like, clarified. Because I think I did say, see, like, R appear on the screen. So I thought, okay, um, is that normal? Or <laughs> I just sort of kept it to myself. But I guess we are, there's a Team Rocket takeover here. So it's a nice extra addition. I think, yeah, I think I remember reading about it, actually. So a cool extra addition to the plotline, I guess. Let's switch Sizor out, because uh, we don't really need it. Let's put the star in. We haven't actually used the star at all. Yeah, the star evolved into a looks ray, if you didn't realise, guys. I didn't actually mention that at the start of the episode. <laughs> I mentioned infinite, but I didn't... Oh, that's an uh, notification. <laughs> okay, let's carry on, shall we? So there's no Team Rocket music at the moment. There is now, though. Stop right there. You ain't fooling our plans this time, trainer. So I guess they're taking you to the Safari Zone to steal some more Pokemon from there. It's a very in ingenious plan. Team Rocket Grunts and Eradicate. Okay, let's go for let's go, let's go for a night slash. Okay, let's go for a quick attack. Oh, you're dead. you dead, bro. Let's get Swags off for this. Mark Punch, indeed. And that's that. I'd have to leave it to the executives to crush you. Ooh. So I guess there are there's going to be executives at some point. This is really, there'll probably be hard battles as well, so... Hopefully we do pretty well. Then I don't know. Uh, Thunder Fang. Quick attack. And Beedrill's coming out. So let's go and switch out to Swags again, I guess. Blaze kick, you're dead. Camera up. Etsy's going out. Crab hammer. Damn freaking iP iPad keeps giving notifications. Okay, send Glovey out. Um, double hit, I guess. Double hit again. Awesome. Beat my kid. Sniff, indeed. So hopefully not straight outside here. Just onto the root here. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We get a dull battle here. Nice. Um... I guess we can start with a star. Nicely compliment that Al Alkazan there. Hello, who are you? Myra, yes. Oh, you must be back. But I about asked Myra and her companions for help, but now he's, he's now stuck at the safari zone. Myra never saw him, but she did hear a trainer called Matt would be arriving. Help Myra defeat these guys. Let's do this. Myra and me versus the Team Rockets. Boom! This is going to be awesome. Wow. Didn't even realise Myra was probably into this game. Okay, so we have Drowsy and we have a Rhyhorn. She's got a Porygon too. Oh, okay, that's interesting. 
I guess we can go Night Slash on the Drowsy, because that's going to take it out in one, most probably. I mean, hopefully the Rhyhorn doesn't have anything that's, you know, going to manage to take me out like an Earthquake or something, but we can always see. Hopefully that Porionto is carrying an Eviolite. <laughs> that's the best one for Porionto, but who knows? Take down on myself, okay? Going to resist that pretty well. Indeed. Recoil. What's the other Team Rocket going to come out with, though? I don't know what you'll come out with. Shall I see? A Swalot. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing as long as Porygon 2 got Porygon 2 has Psychic, it'll be able to take out a lot fairly easily. So I'm going to go out to Ezio, Ezio, uh, to take out that Rhyhorn. Go on, Ezio, let's do this. Boom. Porygon 2 use Psybeam. Yep, Psybeam should be able to. I don't know if it take it out in one hit or not, but nope. Lol, nope. Amnesia for the Swalot is going to make it even harder to take out. Whoa. Uh, Fury attack. Okay, it's not going to be too bad, too bad for us. Uh, I guess, we, I don't know, we should really attack the Swalot because obviously Porygon 2 is not going to be able to take it out, so... I don't know. Yeah, and the Rhyhorns aren't doing anything at all, so let's give a Crab Hammer on that Swalot. Should be able to take it out in one there. Shouldn't have too much trouble. Yeah, we got it gone! So Porygon 2 will then be able to use Psybeam on the Rhyhorn most probably, or I'd hope at least. <laughs> yep, there's a the Psybeam. It's probably going to use it on the Swalot anyway, but it wouldn't have taken it out because of the special defense rise. Oh, you got confused, Rhyhorn. You got confused, you son of a gun. Boom. And Rock Blast. Okay. I'm going to resist that pretty well again. Okie dokie. Number one. Three. There we are. Three times. Sharpedo's coming out. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I, yeah, I'll be able to take out Sharpedo with one Brick Break because of my Expert Belt. And then Porygon 2 will be able to probably just finish off the Rhyhorn with another side Beam. So, as long as Sharpedo goes down, we'll be fine. And yes, I, w I wouldn't expect Myra to be using a Psybeam on the Sharpedo anyway, but if she did, that'd be like, Face palm, Myra! It's a dark type! Okay, and there's a Psybeam on the Rhyhorn, which should be able to take it out. So we only have, really have one opponent left, because I've wiped out the other ro Rockets Pokemon, and we just got these two left here on the single trainer, so... Ariados, Bug Poison type. Okay. We can go for a Brick Break, but only do neutral damage, so we won't get super effectiveness. So we can go Rock Tomb instead, and that's going to get super effective damage. We're going to resist that, no trouble at all. And the Rock Tomb is going to be super effective and get bonus from that Expert Belt, so probably take it out there. I hope at least. Yep, Expert Belt for the win. I don't know if Expert Belt is better than the Stab or not, but I'm going to go for Crab. Yeah, probably create to create Crab Hammer anyway, because we get adaptability from that too, but. As well as stab. Actually, no, that yeah, that is three times. So I guess expert bout is two times. So it is better to go for the stab move sometimes. But I get a brick break here because I want to. Because it's a licky licky. And probably until we have to finish off with side beam anywho anyway. Uh oh yeah, just about managed to do that. Ah, oh, why did you conf converge on your stupid thing? Why you just use side beam and take it out? Fine, we'll take it out ourselves, I guess. Typical. Oh well, there we are. And Licky Licky is finished. And I think that's it for this battle, so... Nice battle with Myra there. Indeed it was. Is she going to heal our Pokemon up now? That would be very helpful, because otherwise I might have to use some potions. Retreat! Yeah, I guessed it. I guessed it. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see who can we put out first now. Guess we can stay out with uh, the star. Because Ezio got a lot of experience from that battle, so I don't suppose we have to be using that too much. And it's a nice nice strength rock, nicely placed here. Ooh, this is interesting as well. We got Buck. Is it Buck? I think his name's Buck. Aha, I was wondering when you arrive. We came to help, but there's more of these rocket goons than we can handle alone. But now you're here. Let's take him down. Bah! Uh, what? <laughs> Brats, rats, gnats. Okay, a bit weird. But yeah, there's a nice strength rock placed in front of that cave, so we have to go along the outside. And obviously, I guess, I guess we're going to be battling alongside all of the, the, the dual partners that are in... Uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum, which is awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome. Let's go for Thunder Fang on the Murkrow, take it out. I have no idea what Umbreon's planning to do. It could possibly go for a... I don't know. See, I could be speeding these battles up, but I want to I wanna save them, because it's nice to have some of these double battles, because I don't think we have many of them in Hot Gone Soul Silver. There's the one with Claire and Lance, which is with a rival after you beat the game, but apart from that, that's it. Okay, so Umbreon's being selfish and using Double Team on itself. Well, I can't use Double Team on me, obviously, but it's using Double Team. Drain Punch on itself. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind Umbreon fainting because it's not my Pokemon, so. 
Okay, I think I'm going to switch out then because it has Drain Punch and Needle Queen's coming out too, uh, which will have Earthquake or a ground type move. So I'm going to go out to someone. Oh, I should have to go out to my friend. My friend! I don't know who. <laughs> Glovey, let's go for Glovey because it has Ice Punch for both of them pretty much, so it's good, good. That's one Glovey. Tail Whip. Wow! Tail Whip! <laughs> Which is going to affect... Oh, I shouldn't have gone kind of Drain Punch again on my thingy. And Brian is going to take it out there, hopefully, now. Hopefully, hopefully, hope... No, I didn't. Damn it, it could use Drain Punch on me now. No, nope, we used on Umbreon again. Good, good. So, assuming Umbreon goes for another Psychic uh, on the Gloom next turn, we'll be fine. Oh, no, shit. Gloom's doing a... Gloom's being a bitch and doing that, so I guess we'll take Gloom out with the Ice Punch. I was going to go for Needle Queen, but we have to take the Gloom out because it's a threat to both of us. And there it goes. So hopefully Umbreon's going to use... Yeah, Umbreon can use, still use Psychic on the Needle Queen and do some pretty decent damage. Also, I love how the battle is on water because we're on a bridge. <laughs> it's just not programmed into the game, I suppose. So it just takes the bottom value, I guess, rather than the value of the bridge we're on. Which is fair enough. Critical hit there, okay. Psychic should do some decent damage to Needle Queen, if not take it out. Probably just half damage or even less than half because Umbreon apparently is terrible. Bit of leftovers for there, on there for Gloving. I took the Shell Bell off of Glovey a while ago because Leftovers is better than Shell Bell because Shell Bell only gives you stuff back when you obviously do damage, but if you don't do damage, you don't get any uh, health points back. Uh, I guess we can go for another Ice Punch on Needle Queen, which will take it out, hopefully, because it's super effective, so. And then we'll see what uh, Umbreon does. I guess another Psychic on uh, the Loudred this time. Ugh, got poisoned. Damn it. Hopefully the Loudred doesn't have any fighting time moves because that could screw both of us over. Hopefully it's just going to use that up or something. We'll have to see, won't we? We shall have to see indeed. There we are, we leveled up to level 41. Awesome. Awesome! Amipon is really, actually, a pretty decent Pokemon, to be honest, so... Okay, so Confuse Ray on that Loudred's gonna confuse it, as you'd guess. <laughs> um, and it's confused, maybe it's gonna hurt itself. And now it's gonna stomp on me. Should be able to take it, we have pretty high defense. Yep, there we are. And there's the leftovers, and then the poison will affect me, but I'm just gonna switch out anyway, so... Switching out after this. What's coming out now? Nuzleaf. Okay, so we have a grass type and a normal type. So it seems like the perfect job for Swagzor. Swagzor, the Infernape. Yeah. Can't actually see his face because it's hidden right behind Umbreon. <laughs> okay, Umbreon's going for a stab move now on uh, the Loudred. So it didn't do too much damage there, really. And it might be a gone now. Yep, that's Umbreon gone. So Loudra is still confused, if it hurts itself, confusion will be fine, but if it does use a move, it'll be using something on Mimus, probably. Or, oh, definitely. <laughs> Stomp. Because obviously it can't use it on the thingy, because it's dead. Okay, so Torquil and Swagzor. Boom. Okay, I'm going to go for the Mark Punch on the Loudra to take it out, because I'm, I'm, I don't know, Torquil should be able to do some decent damage to the Nuzleaf, if not take it out, but the Loudra is a bit more of a threat, to be honest. I don't know what the Nuzleaf particularly has, so... Swagzor Green level 41 as well. Awesome. Everything's going well. Nice speedy uh, infinite there, actually. I don't know what... Oh, Dark Pulse. Talk well is gonna... I don't know. Well, I would resist it if it was used on me, so we don't really mind. And there's the Flamethrower on the Nuzleaf. Is it gonna get taken out or not? Drum roll, please. Indeed it did. Wow, okay. That thing is gone. That thing is gone. Awesome. And one more thing. Octillery. Oh, dear. Oh dearie dearie dear. Oh dearie dearie. Uh we got Thunder Punch, so I guess we can use that. Torquil use Oh thanks for thanks for helping Torquil. Being a real team player there. Just leaving down to Swag's always Thunder Punch. Hopefully we can take it out in one, but my guess is no from the speed of that bar. Oh no, okay, we took it. Fair enough. Good thing we did, otherwise who knows what Octavia would have done. It could have attacked either me or Torquil, but we don't know. So those two are defeated. Yeah. Boom ting. Boom ting. Yes! Oh yeah! Master Archer won't be happy with us! Eh <laughs> That was a smoky hot battle! It's not over yet though! Let me heal your Pokemon! Dun dun dun! Yeah! Like, did they just stop and like not bother to follow me at all? He didn't use his Claydor. And neither did uh, Myra, she didn't use her, her Alakazam at all. Typical! Okay guys, so I think this is where I'm going to end up for today's episode. I, yeah, we have to go back, don't we? It looks like we're going to have to go back, or at least... Do we have strength? Can we use strength yet? I don't know if we have. The bottle cracked and shattered. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's cool. I guess if you look at it beforehand, it doesn't actually break, and you have to wait until you've done this battle first. That makes that makes a lot of sense, actually. It's not actually a strength border, fair enough. Okay, guys, so... In the next episode, we shall continue heading our way up this route towards the Safari Zone, battling, obviously, with, uh... Completely forgotten her name, so... <laughs> but we'll battle alongside her, and probably one or two other people. Can't remember exactly who else there will be. Uh, and then I guess there'll be the executives to take out the Safari Zone, so it's a very nice addition to the hack, I think. So, yeah. I'll be seeing you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.